Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, Gene, do you feel like the crooked cop, Reggie Wright, do you feel like he had a hand in um, Big Duff? I think he had a hand in trying to set up Big's death. You know, I, I really do. Because when he said something, like, he said, they should have killed that fat mother. Who says that? Who says that? Who says some shit like that? And the same cops that he knew that Sugar had already said was his friends, I had showed this nigga a picture of the cops at the museum after Big got killed. And he went on and did a whole show about the shit. You understand? And the cops who Shug said that was uh, Reggie Friends was right there at the museum that night when Big got killed. So to answer your question, yeah, I think he had something. He, had, he played a part. Ooh, salute oh. Reggie Wright. I bring Reggie. Is Reggie in there? Yeah. Hey, what up, dog? Chuck, there go Reg, Reg, Chuck. Chuck and them got some Yo, questions, Reg, bro. Uh, like, oh, yeah. Yes, sir. I know this whole situation with uh, Gene Deal and Wack 100, I'm sure you heard it. But um, Wack had made mention of him being, you know what I'm saying, a cop, a, a probation officer. And, like, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they know you for being a cop as well, you know what I'm saying, serving your time. But, like, what's the difference between you and Gene Deal when it came to the way y'all handled the industry? Well, number one, I, I, I resigned from being a cop in 1990, uh, 1990. I was on leave from 95 to 96, but I retired officially in 96. And so my opinion on that would be, uh, yeah, there were things that were observed or stuff that I, I did as far as pushing up on some people and all of that for my retired days as a cop. But my position with Gene and my issue, and the little bit that I heard with, about Wag's position was Gene was seeing and observing all this stuff while being an active police officer and stuff. That's, that's and it was stuff that was happening to females and, and people like that, which even with me as a, being a retired cop or, or a black man, you wasn't doing no bullshit like that with me around no females or nothing. Some niggas might have got slapped and all of that, but they would have me excuse myself from the room or something like that going down. You know Hold what I mean? On, Reggie, tell them again. What did niggas do with the security? We told them to do what? Leave the room. Nigga, they would make bro, us leave. leave. No, they nigga, they no, didn't no. even do stuff. Go ahead. But bro, Chuck, what I was telling y'all, it's two phases of security. It's us, and then it's the security. Nigga, we not doing nothing, saying exactly. nothing, none of that in front of Reg. I would be told, they'd be like, Reg, all right, it's all good, Reg. That means get your ass out of here. Mm -hmm. So, like, like you, you doing, like... Okay, so that was a respectful thing where they wasn't disrespecting my little position or exposition. I would, I had had that... Shug or his homeboys would do that a lot. I was kind of a hot-headed dude. Y'all don't know much about me. Y'all think y'all do. But I have... I let me. Well, how many niggas you drew down already? <laughs> I niggas had to pull me off niggas at some time. I'll just say that. But that was me. But there, you know, but there wasn't like we were just going out there beating up on people or anything like that. That was not the case. It was generally niggas that were being disrespectful and doing stuff. I'd have been with niggas that got shot in the leg. What I'm talking about that is a dude named Diamond and uh, Big West. And that's when y'all hear the story from KVD when he said me and Shug went chasing the neck bone and buntry and was firing shots at those niggas. That's a true statement. Shug Carr didn't get shot up or nothing like that, but we had to react. So I done been in situations hey, like why that. Why did with, they like, do with, that? Like, why did they come? On? I don't know. I don't know. I guess, you know, could, could be some crippling blood thing. The two dudes that got shot were really crips. That was with us, but they shot in, in the crowd where we all were at. It was about five or six of us in a club called Paradise. On um, was hired as a security company. Correct. He was given a big ass budget, and he had people under him. Right. Reggie didn't necessarily have to sit there and stand at a door. He had a Correct. company. Never did. This nigga over here was just a nigga that got a date rate. He, he wasn't a company. Two different niggas. So like like during your time frame though, Reggie, like back in the nineties, because that's I think that's what Gene said he was running with Puffy. Did you ever have an encounter with Gene on the West Coast? Because basically the way he said 
is just like puff shit. He had that rain on the West Coast, like when nobody touching nobody. I know that nigga in his camp. Oh, Who you talking about, Gene? Or you talking about um, Puffy? Gene, did you have you ever um seen? Gene, Gene has told a story at the, about the Soul Train Awards, right? Where he, he even now tell it. Where when he first started telling the story, he was saying, "I had Puff and we was in a corner, and I had him checked over there." Now that he, as he got more comfortable, he telling how Puffy took and ran and ran up underneath the trailer. Y'all go and listen to it when we was at the Soul Train Awards, and he and he talks how Puffy uh, took off and ran. So my point is. And then, no disrespect to people closer than all of that, because we ain't gonna go into New York without some niggas from New York with us. Ain't no nigga coming That's from New fact. York to to LA and be checking niggas out here. Ain't happening. Dying. Ain't happening. And vice versa. I'll give y'all that. When we when we when we went into towns and all of that, we I ain't saying we had a whole crew of. Dudes from bro, New York. Tell him about or, the homies I was going to run down for a week. All you got to do is mention his name. They know who he is. Yeah, Big, Big D is one dude. That was who we, whenever. Not the Big D with that, the dude whose son got in trouble with Jim. It's a big light skinned nigga. Any of y'all know that's from New York. You know, it's a big dread head, light skinned dude with dread, dreads in his head and all that. They ain't Big D. That nigga, we just call him. Big dream, you know. It, we'll have one or two or three dudes with us from from their town. That's how you need to roll when you go into other people's towns. Is it, it, my Man, point. So I was just asking you a question about Big Gene. For him yeah. to be saying all of that, I I don't believe it's true. No. I really believe he's capping y'all. Y'all just think of this. Y'all think of this. Knowing Shug and his mentality and all this. Y'all know Big Jake got killed. Uh, September of 1995, right? Y'all know that Biggie and L had uh, the trailer shot up in December of 95. And so sometime when they didn't get the Rolls Royces until uh, April, April of 1996. So Suge, because he got some LA niggas with him, going to let Puffy, Puffy Combs, check him by saying, Cause that's a check if y'all don't know. Man, what y'all Puff don't even talk like that. You know yeah, that. we got any problems out here? Yeah, they don't even talk and still like gonna that. say, "No, nah, y'all good." Fuck out of here, <laughs> man! Come on, all right, yo, Red. Hey, okay, one thing, listen, Red. Red, yeah. tell it. One thing, Nick, them niggas kept with them. We all keep with us. Everybody. It's called a motherfucking shooter. They don't give a fuck who it is. They don't give a fuck, nigga. These suicide bombers. Nigga, all they want is a mama taking care of money on their books and they going. Nigga, you think a nigga okay, gonna pull up on that nigga talking about niggas we nigga, they gonna I'm like, listen to this nigga like, but yeah. Gene ain't a street nigga, he's a doofus nigga. Exactly. Just make it up shit. Nigga, what? And the, I even try to show y'all by the cars that he tried to say. He always say Pac was in a white Rolls Royce. White Rolls Royce. He's seen right. a white Rolls Royce before. Yeah, I heard that. But guess who has the white Rolls Royce? Snoop. Mm. Pox Rose Royce was black. That now people make little mistakes like that. I'll give you that. Uh, you ain't gonna make no mistakes, black or white. That nigga I'm was... just telling you that's but shit. I that you know that nigga drove covers. a beat up ass motherfucking Ford Explorer. That's what Gene drove. Yeah. Well, we all were not grateful like you, whack, to be to be. We all weren't blessed like you, whack, <laughs> to be no, riding around the five hundred. Five hundred and shit and all the truck and all that. I told that. Sure, they said I was sure driver. I thought that was. My I don't. Business. I don't get where they get that. And the, all the times I saw you in the car with sure, you was on the passenger seat. That's it. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV gang.